wireless Android Auto in the Honda E. Let's get into this. Yes, what's good people, Tech Jamo. So yeah, we're inside the Honda E and yeah, ever since I had the car, they said it's got Apple CarPlay, wireless and wired, but the Android Auto is just stuck with this wired connection, which means if I want to get my Google Maps, my WhatsApp stuff, all of that on the car dashboard, I have to plug in my phone every time I get into the car. It's a quick step, but it's still an extra step. And in the time where we have wireless this and wireless that, look, we're trying to be in the future. That's why you got this car in the first place. So I did a little digging, went onto Facebook, and I found out there was one user that posted a really helpful video in the Honda E Facebook group showing how people can dig into the car settings and unlock the wireless Android Auto settings permanently for you to use whenever you want. I don't know why Honda have like disabled them, but have the option there. It's, it's a bit weird. Maybe they're looking to unlock them later on, but yeah, right now you can unlock it and I'm gonna show you how. Thanks to the guy that showed us how to do this on Facebook. I'll put his name in the description section below or somewhere on the screen here if I'm feeling flashy. Ah, uh, right, now the phone we're gonna be using for this tutorial is the Samsung Galaxy A52 5G. Doesn't have to be a 5G phone, just has to be an Android phone. Big shout out to Vodafone, by the way, for hooking me up with this Galaxy A52 5G for review and just content creation. Um, you can find out more about Vodafone's deals for this phone in the link in the description section below. Now. Once you've got your Android phone, what you want to do is you want to download Android Auto for phone screens, yeah? So download that. Um, I think if you do this procedure without downloading it, it will shortcut you to make you download it anyway. But if you've got it downloaded already, then you're already in the right direction kind of thing, isn't it? So that's downloaded. What you also want to do is you want to make sure that if you've ever paired your phone to your Honda E before, you delete that pairing, yeah? I'm talking about Wi-Fi hotspot and I'm talking about Bluetooth. So first of all, you wanna delete it from the phone. As you can see, this phone has never been connected to the Honda before, so the Honda doesn't even come up here. But if it was, you would just unpair it from the phone or you just delete the connection. Now you wanna do the same on the Honda. So you wanna go into general settings. Um, I'll just show you how to get into that through the normal way, in case you haven't got it shortcutted up here. But you wanna go into all apps. You wanna go scroll up until you get to general settings here. Then you want to go to connections Then you want to go to Bluetooth. Then if your phone has been connected to the car before, it will show up here. So let's say, for example, my Galaxy S21. I'm going to click on that. If this was the phone I was trying to connect now, I would go to the delete in the top right corner. And that's because for some reason, if you pair your phone in Bluetooth audio mode, it won't give you the option for wireless Android Auto. So there's a specific way we're gonna pair that. But first of all, before we even pair that, we just delete the connections, as I've said. And what you want to do to first of all, enable the wireless Android Auto, is you wanna hold the audio button and you wanna hold the home button for about 10 seconds. Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I'm bored of counting. After you've counted that, you wanna hold this middle light button for another couple of seconds until you hear them all beep. There we go, so you've heard the beep. So we've got some kind of warning signals on there, but don't worry about that. What you wanna do now is you wanna touch this bottom part of the touchscreen, which says detailed information and settings. And then you wanna to go to smartphone information at the bottom down here. And as you can see, we're getting closer now. You can see here it says Apple CarPlay, on USB slash wireless, on USB off. Now you wanna to go to the Android Auto option, which is defaulted to just USB, but Honda have the on USB wireless mode up here as well. So you wanna click that, enable that, and then you wanna click pressing this return button until that's all sorted. All right, so now the car is in wireless Android Auto mode, we wanna pair it to the phone. Now make sure you do not use the Bluetooth audio or the smartphone connection shortcuts to do this procedure. Just do it the long way. Go into all apps, then go into general settings. 
then go into smartphone connection, which is the same as the shortcut here, but for some reason it's not the same and it doesn't work. <laughs> um, not in my car anyway, go into that, then go into Android Auto. For some reason, when you press the smartphone connection button, you don't get the options for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Yet when you go in through the long way in the menu, you get these two options. Anyway, click Android Auto, um, and you wanna go to connect new device, obviously. And now what you wanna do on your device, um, you wanna go into the Android Auto settings. So you open up your Android Auto app, your Android Auto for phone screen or whatever it's called. You wanna go into these settings, these three little markers in the top left corner. And you wanna to go to settings there. Then you wanna to go to connect a car. Can you see that guys, is it in focus? There we go, connect a car. And then you wanna to go to connect using wireless Android Auto. There we go. And it says connect using Bluetooth. And then you want to go to pair a car. There we go, and it will have you search for the car. Now we've got a Honda HFT down here. There we go. And it should come up with a pairing code and you wanna pair that. Now after you pair that, don't touch anything. Leave it there fam. Leave, leave it right there. Don't touch anything yet. It says allow access to contacts, but you don't wanna touch that yet. You wanna wait for it to say, would you like to enable Android Auto for this device? Now, when it says that, you wanna click yes. Now that it's done that and that's all good to go, now you can click allow access to contacts and that's all good. Click that on the phone there. And then, yeah, we've got wireless Android Auto just like that. Now, for some reason, if you do this any differently from that method of going into all apps and then going into general settings and then going into smartphone connection and Android Auto, if you do it any different than that, for some reason, it just gets really dodgy for me. But um, yeah, as you can see, got Android Auto here. Um, works just as fast as the USB connection, actually. It'd be a little bit laggy, but you know, that's how Android Auto be. YouTube music, you got all that kind of stuff there. I don't even think I have YouTube music on my phone. <laughs> but um, yeah, everything works. You got your Google Maps there, and you've obviously got your Spotify there as well, which are the main things I use whilst driving anyway. Um, and that's it, simple as that, guys. Hopefully that helped. Let me know if it did. I had to go back to the Galaxy S21 Ultra during this recording because for some reason I was using this as my main camera for this like footage but it started overheating and now I'm actually using the Galaxy A52 5G to finish this video so um it's hopefully that helped if it did leave a comment in the comment section below subscribe like and I'll catch you guys in the next one bless